and which is the best one to start off when you're actually playing um you just got it into like the secret service or when the game comes out and you just got it which is the best one to play um which is the easiest game mode which turns out to be a more um a, a, like a medium game mode and which is like a really really hard one and it's all based on how long they take and depending on how much competitive play is happening in them so the idea is um, capture the flag is actually the one of the most difficult game modes to win like when you first start playing and you're trying to learn the game it's not the best game mode to basically go into because the objective of catching the flag capturing the flag getting it back to your base while your flag is still there and the other team is not holding it is a much more complex thing than you would think and a lot more players who are skilled in the game wind up playing that mode a lot um i just figured out how to play capture the flag i had um, one of the guys who's been in the beta for a while or the early access for a while um, who has a lot of his stuff up at high levels he actually came onto my stream boosted monkey and he kind of showed me like what you would need to do to basically win or why he's so effective at winning a lot of the capture the flag games so the idea is it's all of the maps work the exact same way there are positions that you can actually have a position of strength and you can hold and you can rack up kills and prevent the other team from being able to move out of and control them and lock them into the area having pitch battles with with your other teammates or yourself all the time while the rest of your team is accomplishing goals like that's literally the easiest way to beat anybody it's just that he kind of showed me where are the choke points on captured the flag there's an obvious one that we all saw from the early videos but there's a less obvious one that i saw when i first got in and had somebody um kill farming um a sniper kill farming in front of our respawn base and it's the opposite end of the map and they had me trapped there i literally had to drop out of the game put a new loadout together and then come back in um, but like i said capture the flag is the one because it's only five points and there's those stipulations and the map sometimes is really small that's the map with the jump mats called the the something fragments misto fragments or something like that and that one gets whew, it can become that match could go it's still about 15 minutes 20 minutes but that one can go on for a while especially if the level of play is really high and you don't have a lot of bots in you have a lot of players playing strategically like last night i won uh capture a flag i jumped on a team they were leading four to one then the other team started getting stacked with a lot of the good players and it became four four and we managed to win five four and the way that happened is like two of the three times that they were about to score i ran parallel to the flag runner like either through the middle or to the upper part of the map and i met him before he reached the scoring point killed them got the flag back got killed right after but I always prevented them from scoring. Or I started guarding our flag, and when somebody would come to get it, I would basically eliminate them before they could actually move with the flag and then reset it again. So like those are things that when I first started playing, I wasn't doing. Uh, another tactic is even though you cannot score or you're not really good at running the flag back, if you can steal the flag before the person gets there to score, he can't score. And until they get you, if you can drop the flag off to a more accomplished player and you play defense, they can't win the game. So it's it's really interesting. There's a lot of strategy and a lot of positioning and a lot of moving around that happens. It should be the shortest and the fastest game mode and probably the, it's the most straightforward, so it should be like super easy, but that can take a very long time, especially when the level of play is really skilled. So capture the flag would kind of be the hard game to start off in it's not easy flag hunters on the other hand is their flags that are sporting on the map all the flags are not there at once you start off with six flags on the map three on your side three on the opponent's side and the way i played that game is i just wait 
Um, I, I basically get kills and get my primal god ready. And when you reach a certain point, you're just like, all right, there's enough flags on the field to win. And there are times what I'll do is I'll run into primal, decimate their base, grab as many flags as I can, kill the flag runner, get us up to 10. And I usually try to drop them off at my base and then rebuild my primal, um, my primal charge so I can get ready to transform into the primal again to defend. Or sometimes I just take the flags and I run them, I keep away from everybody on the map and then I just start running in circles, staying away as far away as possible from the opponent. And you win that. But um, if you're a new player, that's actually the easiest one because there's some time before you can actually win that game. And you can, act, you can try things, you can move around, and there's not as much going on in the first three to four minutes unless you have a person rushing your area. But that's the, that's the game mode that I noticed that it gives you some time to get into it and it's simple objectives collect some flags once you get the flags you can basically um hold it for 90 seconds and you win the key is once you're holding a flag same thing with capture the flag once you have flags you get a boost you're able to run real fast but if you have abilities like jump or ability called blink which is a teleport those abilities don't work all you have is your roll your primary weapon and your heavy weapon that's all you got no the only way to turn into a primal god is to drop the flag and transform. And sometimes it works out, sometimes it doesn't. So that, that's how that works. And then the medium, I would say, because it's, this game is, can easily snowball one way or the other depending on how many players that you have on your side, um, how many real players versus bots. Um, bots are very silly in this game because they're, again, every map has choke points that you can um, use to your advantage to rack up a lot of kills. One of the things you're always trying to do in every mode of this game is try to get to a pentakill. If you get to a pentakill, you get this massive buff that stays on you, that gives you more speed, more power, more um, damage, gives you everything in spades. You move faster, you hit harder, and most people can't stop you. So it turns out to be that's one of the keys in this game is getting the penta buff, um, the penta kill buff. Once you have that, also, all your teammates that are around you in a specific vicinity also get share that buff with you. So you be you can become a squad of five or six guys running around, all jacked up with higher speed and way more damage output than the opponents that you're that you're playing. So. That game can snowball fast. It can snowball very, very fast. Like one team will just like start racking up so many points, you just can't catch up. And if you do catch up, that's when it becomes like an, an almost a back and forth battle. And that's what I mean by this is like a medium level because I've come into a game where we were losing three to 14 or three to 18 and we came back and won that. Like. 2319 so it, you can come back in that mode it's just it's not easy once one team is really close to the end and they they have enough good players on the team what i start seeing happen is they start finding the most problematic player on the opponent side they hunt that person down mercilessly don't let them do anything and just let the bots um move around like if teams are lopsided five human players on one team and two human players on another, you might as well just leave that game. You're not winning. I don't I don't know what god level plays you think you might be able to make, but the concept is if everyone is attacking you from different directions and you have um skillful people on both sides, yeah, that you're getting dropped. I don't care. You can be really good, but you'll get dropped. It won't be easy to drop you, but you'll get dropped. And while you're fighting for your life and trying to kill people off, if you try to get objectives by yourself, there's only so many ways you can stop people when they move into primal god. If you're being rushed by three primal gods and stuff like that, you can be really good. You ain't stopping that as one player. So that's that. There are definitely ways to look at it. So I'm gonna go through all three um three modes. I'm gonna go through flag hunter. I'm gonna go through um. Call rush and then capture the flag. I'm not guaranteeing wins. I'm not guaranteeing anything. I just want to show you um, what I mean by how easy or how hard the the 
levels are or the game modes are so what i'm running right now is i'm running my primal hunter um build what i call that is it's a it's a uh, primal god killer mode like when i'm in primal hunter and i set up everything with primal hunter i can basically beat most primal gods on a one in one battle and i'll show you why um so you have to also make sure because in the beta you have to also make sure if all your mods are always 